What is happening? Welcome to another pitch video break time. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of a site called PitchList.com, where you can get everything that you want from podcasts to articles to videos like this one every single day. You got to check it out. Oh, and our player pages are stat cast pages that are insane and totally new and different. And you should check those out to do all of your player research. It's what I do for my analysis. I, but yeah, we're going to talk about this man, Alex Wood. And Alex Wood hasn't had a smooth season. So a lot of thoughts about like, is he actually that great? Is he... I, you know, he's been really inconsistent. I've gotten some fantasy baseball questions about him, all that stuff. But Alex Wood, he's thrown harder this year. He was at around 91.8 last year. He's been between 92 and 93 on that fastball. It's just the slider and the changeup haven't come together quite. But he did yesterday. Seven innings, one run against the Rockies. I call it Rocky Road. And we're going to watch it. Seventh inning. Um, and to see how he's doing it. So, if you notice, first and foremost, the guy move goes quickly. It, the Sarky Jerky thing, you've never seen him before. Uh, just very quickly, it, it's insane how fast he goes, drop down, look at this, oh, look at this bent thing, and just what is going on. Eventually, he gets to here, though, and that's all that matters. Just, is it normal stuff? And yes, this is normal stuff. Is he lower than usual? Yes, he gets a lower arm angle, which allows him actually to go sinkers up in the zone effectively at times to, uh, to, to get, get some whiffs on that. But you're generally going to see, you know... A lot of stuff down, okay, on, on both sides. That is sinkers trying to aim around here. You're going to see change-ups off of that come down here. And then you're going to have sliders come across, come across, come across. That's the game plan of Valks. It used to be back in the day, knuckle curves, but now it's sliders. So let, let, let's just start this one more time. First pitch here, he's trying to do a change-up underneath here. This is pretty good movement, and I dig this if it's like an 0-2 pitch. Oh, oh, though, not what you're looking for. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's just, just not it. So, 1 0, probably throw a fastball in here, try and get a strike. Oh, tries to go inside on that, and I really dig that. You, you just try and start away over here, right, with that changeup. And then you're trying to get this fastball to come back over. Just keep in mind, this is a lefty. The whole thing's going to look like it's that. But in reality, it's a little bit of that. Uh, and as I get rid of that terrible, terrible artwork that I've made. 2 0, yeah, try that again. You weren't too far off. Make an adjustment. And you did. And you got this up and in. And keep in mind, this isn't going like this, which would mean that to strike the entire way. This kind of looks like it's going to go here and then comes back over. So it's a little bit harder to make your decisions on it. And this is a good pitch. Sky to shallow left center field. Or left field, I should say, off the line. Walt that comes down with it. There's your first out. And on a 2-0 count, you know... I, I can't really, I really got to emphasize this. How do pitchers go deep into games? It's by getting to two O counts and executing pitches like this one. That's up and in, and you just earned an out. You got behind in a batter, and instead of taking now four or five pitches to get an out, you've now ended it after one more. That's a huge deal. That's how you guys see guys like Sandy Alcantara, Aaron Nola, Zach Wheeler, Alex Wood go deeper into games is when they're executing those pitches to get those outs. Oh, and there's, guess what? Guess what that is? That's a free real estate. Yes, it is. That's a slider. 84 over the plate. Beautiful. Sets up a, maybe a change up away. Maybe a fastball inside. He's trying to get that one inside. This one's a strike for a long time. Gritchick's probably upset at himself for this one. Especially if he's swinging a 92 right there. Mm. He's swinging that one. means he wasn't looking for something else. That's it. Going up. Sure, that can you can do that. Go to slider again. Maybe down and in. Oh, he tries. He overthrows it. I'd say do it again. Same spot, just do it well. Yes! Oh, that's so good! Oh, I love stuff like that. Because at 1-2, you throw the slider and you miss with it. Gritchick thinks, okay, he's going to go back to the fastball. Instead, he makes the adjustment. I mean, if you watch the Alex Cobb video, you'll know how much I like making an adjustment. Like, as a pitcher, you know that you just missed with something. you got to change it a little bit. And uh, this is beautiful. This is a slider that comes in and just falls right underneath. Ah. Oh. Perfect. Right underneath the bat. He doesn't know that's not a strike the entire time. Peak Alex Wood. Peak Alex Wood there. Uh, and there, more free real estate. He's feeling this pitch. It's the seventh inning. Seventh inning, he's feeling this. And, I mean, against a lefty, you could traditionally see more sliders. But the fact that he just went against a righty, took him out with a slider. Ah, and went with it there. I mean, you can do anything you want here. You can do a changeup even. Oh, did he? Is that a changeup? That was a changeup. Wow. McMahon just got destroyed on that. Oh my god, he thinks he thinks this is a fastball that's gonna end up here. And he wants to push this to right field, or left field rather. He wants to go other way with it. 
And, oh, he just commits on that. Oh, my gosh. I mean, even calling a changeup against a lefty like this is pretty cool. Because, I mean, that's the changeup that's going to... He's probably aiming for this. So, that means, essentially, from the batter's point of view, it looks like a fastball is coming here and coming down there. I... Uh, man, this one came like that. It's very rare to see a changeup away like that work. Uh, from the same handedness. But that's cool. Fastball up. Oh, come on, Blue! That's a strike. That's a strike. Uh, what are you going to slide her away is what I would do. Oh, fastball's pinpointed, and he knows that. Man, that's so good. So, I mean, in this at bat, what we saw, slider come in here, change up come down here, fastball, you know, I'm going to change the colors of this. Slider come in here, I uh, fastball come in here, change up come in here, right? And now you have the, the fastball come back here. Like, if you noticed, this is empty. There's not. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. This is like, nope. Like, that's how you pitch well. That's how you mess around with batters and you just make them turn around and just throw up their hands. That's peak Alex Wood. That's pinpoint. Ugh. And it all starts with free real estate, guys. That's how Alex Wood did it. And this isn't a very good team, Rocky Road. But now he gets two really nice starts as well. Uh, easier matchups again. I mean, I think Alex Wood is going to continue soaring with this. Fastball's at 92. Just spotted 93 in the seventh inning. Down and away. Alex Wood is really, really good right now. Uh, I think Giants fans should be very, very excited. That's going to do it for today. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of these. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another video. But that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock. And may your babbits be low and your strikeouts high.